Hi, welcome to our studio practice. In these sessions, we are going to focus on creating a modular building block with the straight modeling approach. To achieve that, we will need to work closely with polygonal properties like vertices, edge, and face. And there are four parts to this practice. First, we are going to set up a working folder that house our Maya scene file with meter working units. Later, I'm going to show you a simple method to assemble your modular blocks. So let's get started. First, go to File, Project Window, and type in a new project folder name, for instance, GAM underscore 2013. Alternately, you can set this new project folder to any location as you like, as long as it is convenient to you. Next, let's save our current scene file into our newly created folder. From now onwards, all our save file locations will be pointed to this particular project folder. You should make use of this folder for storing your upcoming game level as well. And beforehand, let's create another subfolder for better organizing our studio working file. Once the file is saved, Maya will prompt the result to you. Next, let's set our working units to meter. Leave the angular setting as default and set the time code to PAL. OK, let's zoom out and start with the polygon plane. Turn off the grid and switch on the shaded view. Next, we are going to change our pivot point to stick with this vertex. Once done, rotate the point to negative 90 degree. Next, let's try to redistribute the edges of the point by using the scale tool. To select a loop of edges, simply double-click on one of these edges. Next, let's try to add more edges to the plane. Beforehand, make sure you are at the menu set of polygons. Go to Edit Mesh and click on the Insert Edge Loop option. Simply reset the tool and add some new edges around this region. Next, let's work on the polygon face. Do you hold down the shift key for multiple selection? Now we are going to extrude 
these phases. In the extrude manipulator, do try to click and drag on the thickness label. The selected phases will level up. Alternately, you could key in a numeric value into the text field which is just next to it. Okay, let's continue to extrude the remaining phases. This time, we are going to push the phases inward with the extrude function. Next, select these phases and we are going to try out the offset attributes. Okay, let's get back to the object mode momentary. So far, we have managed to define an opening for a window by using the extrude function. I hope things are fine over your end. And uh, let's continue with the extrude operations. We are almost there. Occasionally, you can use the Move tool to redistribute the edges. Now let's try to define the window glass. Okay, once the window is done, feel free to meddle with other concrete parts of the building block. And we are done with our first modular part of the presuming building structure.
Next, we are going to duplicate and assemble this modular part into a single floor. But beforehand, we will need to delete some of the faces off. Do try to select these faces accurately without any others. Then, just hit Delete. In order to mirror the modular block accurately, we will need to change the pivot point and snap it to this particular vertex. With the Apply Duplicate functions, let's head in towards the channel box and set the scale Z to negative 1. And here we go. Next, we will need to combine these two modular pieces into one. Although these modular pieces have been binded as one, its vertices are yet being merged, and it will leave unwanted gaps or holes to our model. Hence, we will need to select all these borderline vertices and apply the merge functions that are found on the shelf. Once the operation is successful, Maya will prompt you a simple feedback. And do test out to see if there is any hole there afterwards. Okay, everything so far so good. Next, we are going to change the pivot point of our modular block again. Make sure it is snapped to this vertex. This time, we are going to duplicate and fold it to the side. Alright, now let's repeat the combine and merge vertices function again. And always remember to test out the merge vertex for ensuring there's no more hold in it. In our final steps, we are going to seal off these empty gaps by using the bridge function. Go to the edge mode and select these two edges. And double click on the bridge function, these will open up its optional setting. Remember to set the division to 0, then click apply. And there you go. Now let's repeat the previous steps with the repeat functions that are found in the edit menu. Alternately, you could press the shortcut key G for repeating the action. This would help you to speed up your workflow. Although we have connected all these edges, still, there is a hole underneath here. Let's select these open border edges. Go to the Mesh menu and apply the Fill Hole function. This will help us to get rid of the unwanted gaps. And keep repeat the Fill Hole operations to the remaining parts.
Let's readjust the pivot point again for one more time. And you can press Ctrl D to duplicate the mesh and pull it underneath to form another story. And here marks the end of this simple demonstration. You have learned the function of extrude, merge vertices, insert edge loop, and a few whole functions. And if time permits, do challenge yourself for crafting a simple dream house of yours. Thank you.